Hey everybody, how is it going? Today we're going to be working on some hoops, some heart shaped hoops today. So we're just going to be only doing one side. So we are going to be working with a, as you can see, 26 gauge and it comes in 150 feet. This is floral, wi floral wire. I get this from Michael's. I'm gonna go ahead and unravel as much as I need for this. I actually have it written down right here and I believe it's like, I think it's two and a half feet. And you're definitely gonna need pliers, so I suggest you get pliers. I'm using scissors because these are old scissors and I don't really care about them, so yeah. So I'm going to show you how I begin to wrap it. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is your earring and this is your wire. So what you're going to do, so maybe I'm going to measure this to see how much this one is right here. Um, of course, I don't have my ruler anywhere. Let's just go ahead and start wrapping. So we're going to start wrapping your wire around your earrings. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to push this down. And with your other wire, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be wrapping it around the backing of it. Like that. So this is how it's going to look. It's going to look kind of weird at the beginning. Okay. And so today I'm going to be demonstrating with size 11. No. You can work with size 11, definitely. But right now I'm going to be using size 10 seed beads and the two colors we're going to be working with is black and like a, this cream color we have right here Okay, so we're going to be picking up, um, I don't know if I want to do a swirl. Let's just do a swirl. Okay, so let me take off this whole roll. So it'll be easier, you know, for me to work like this with you guys because, um, it's just easier. I do not suggest to make a swirl if it's your first time. If it's your first time and you're just trying this out. I suggest you like pick up like 10 of this nude and 10 of the black but right now what I'm gonna be showing you guys is a swirl and for the swirl we're gonna be picking up only three of this right here three of the nude three and three black and just and we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the process all the way through at the beginning um, you don't really have to count to see how much you're gonna be putting on at the beginning you just keep on going as long as um, as much beads as you need that's fine so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there I know it's not much but just to get it started okay so what you're going to be doing with this hand you're going to be putting pressure you're going to be pushing pressure on this side I like to turn the earring over while putting pressure on this side and then we're going to go ahead and start wrapping And then when it gets to right here, oh my god, look, I put four. I was only supposed to put three. 
so when that comes when that happens you go ahead and snap off one of the beads you don't need okay and right now try not to put that much pressure now because we want it to swirl so not too much pressure just nice and lightly and as you can see the swirl is coming out then you're going to go ahead and keep on repeating the process so picking up three black and three of the cream This is really easy. Once you get the hang of it, at the beginning, you're gonna have problems. Um, when I first started, I was having problems with like tightening it. But now it's so much easier because I've been wrapping for a while now, for a while. And, um,. We decided this swirl on um, one of the lives we did on TikTok, we decided to, um, we figured out a swirl on live. And from there, we started making a lot of swirls. So, yeah, if you're not following me on TikTok, don't forget to follow me, guys. It's at Val's Beautiful Beadwork. I'm always on live there. But yeah, this is just one swirl. There's so much other swirls, like so much other colors you can do. Like if like different kind of um swirl designs. All right, I think we picked up in enough um beads. So let's go ahead and start wrapping again. So like I said, not to put too much pressure while you're wrapping because we want it to swirl. The more pressure you put on it, the more it's not going to swirl. It's going to um, be making a straight line and that's what we don't want. So lightly put pressure on this hand. So as you can see, I'm just barely holding it on this side and just keep on turning the earring and yeah that's pretty much it with this it's so simple so fun you know and a swirl is so easy I think it'll be awesome you know like when Christmas comes around I know it's not for a while but you can do like Christmas colors but then there's Halloween there's like different holidays are going to be coming up and I think that this swirl is going to be coming into, a lot of people is going to be doing a swirl soon. So this is just something fun and easy for you guys to try. But yeah, so just go ahead and repeat this same process all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and continue and I'll get back to you when I'm on this side. Okay, so I am almost at the end. We're almost close to the end. Let me zoom in a bit. So we're going to go ahead and continue wrapping. So it looks like we need a little bit more beads. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more. I'm going to be picking up the same thing. Three and three. Okay. And... Hopefully these ones work now. Alright, so that's a little bit too much. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take off this much. And as you can see, there's the ending right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is that we're going to go ahead and wrap your wire around the earring. 
just wrap wrap your wire and there that's it and like I said my scissors are really old so I don't mind using that to snap up the wire but if you have pliers, so if you have pliers to snip it off you can go ahead and use it so right now I'm using pliers to actually tighten it but try not to tighten it too much because you're gonna snap the wire and then you're gonna have to start all over and we're gonna go ahead and take the beginning off we're gonna snap off the wire there and yeah there's a little piece of wire right here you can see it and so what we're gonna do is go ahead and wrap it as well and yeah that's it close it up and you are done so this is the finished product it looks so nice like I said the beads we use today is size 10 seed beads the wire we used is size 26 gauge um, floral wire, which you can get from like um, Michaels or you can get it like from Hobby Lobby or um, anywhere that has any kind of wire, you know, size 26 gauge jewelry wire. You can also order from Amazon. So the hoops where I got the hoops is from um, a TikToker, but you can also find it on um, Amazon if you look up heart shaped hoops and you're going to be able to find some heart shaped hoops. All right, just thought I would share this with you guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for following and supporting. So if you guys are not yet followers, don't forget to follow and also like the video, guys. All right, well, happy beating.